Today's video is on the question, should you go to college? Let's start off with what are the benefits. For one, you get four years to eat, sleep, learn, and basically build yourself into whatever you want to be by the time you graduate and go out and start working. The second thing is networking, right? Networking in a college setting is way easier than it would be in any other place. You have thousands of people gathered in one place with different interests and different majors that they want to study. And now you put them all together, eating in the same places, doing the same activities, going to the same sports games. You're going to meet so many people with so many different ideas that you are going to be able to test your ability to communicate with them, but you're also going to be able to network with them after college. This is something that I'll get to later when we get to this little diagram over here. But for now, let's move on to exposure again to different people is if you are from a small community, I'm from Rochester, Minnesota, where I met some really cool people and people with different interests. But if you're not from a city, the reality is, is you might only have one or two industries that you're exposed to. If you want to get into computer science and you don't live in a big city, just what are the odds that the resources to get into that field are going to be there? Right? That's where college kind of bridges this gap. So if you want to get exposure to different industries and different just job opportunities, then college is probably going to be a great option for you. Now, let's move on to what are the downsides. Well, first one, this is kind of an obvious one. There's nothing guaranteed when you go to college. Like you see this in the news and you see this being written about and talked about a lot and how there's a lot of majors in college that don't really get you jobs. And that's true, right? Because the major itself is not going to get you a job in really any case. You hear about how people skills and the ability to communicate and work in a business setting are really helpful. I think that's why business majors and accounting majors and like finance, you can kind of finagle your way into pretty much anything because at the very least, you know how to operate in a business and you know how to communicate with people. But anyway, moving on, it costs money, right? The reality is, is college is going to cost you anywhere from eight grand if you're in state up into 40 grand if you're going to a private school across the country. This is just the reality. College is a business. They're going to charge you money to be there, to learn, to have four years to basically do whatever you want, to either get as smart as you possibly want or party three times a week and have fun, right? It's up to you, but that privilege costs money. The third thing, the feeling of being trapped. So let me describe what I mean by this. You get through your first few years and you think, ah, oh, like, I know what I want to do, and I'm at a liberal arts school, and I don't want to, you know, be taking an art class anymore. I don't want to be taking an analytics class when I know that I want to be like a construction manager. Two ways that you can go about this. The first one is you decide, hey, uh, this college thing isn't going to be right for me. I just want to go work for a company and work my way up because I know that's what I want to do. I had a classmate last year who did that, and he's doing great. He decided that having a four-year degree wasn't going to help him with his construction job that he wanted to work up into eventually being a manager with that company. So he dropped out and now he's working for that company and he started his climb to the top, right? That's a decision that you'll ultimately have to make just depending on what you want. But this feeling of being trapped does not exist, does not have to happen. It's just up to you to make that decision whether college is going to continue to be the right choice for you or my route, where at this point, I'm going to finish college. That's no doubt in my mind I'm going to do that. But the mindset that I'm taking towards classes that I'm taking, which aren't directly related to accounting, which is my major, is that there's something within all of these classes that can help me eventually be a successful accountant or baseball coach, whatever it is in the future. These communication skills. I'm taking a class called Communicating Science. Right? It's about science and discoveries and how Scientists use rhetoric in the way that they speak and write to communicate with people. So if I'm a baseball coach, I'm going to use this to help communicate with my clients, to help communicate with catchers, with really anyone, and especially in accounting too. You're communicating with people like 75% of the time from what You have to switch your mindset into understanding that even though some of these classes are not directly related to what you want to do, it's almost a blessing because you get to learn about the other sides of the dice so that you know how to basically operate in any kind of environment. So now I want you to move down here 
is you see these are the key questions that you should probably think about if you're just considering whether or not to go to college. It's do you want to be a professional? That is the first one. So when you think about going to college, if you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be an accountant, you want to be a professional anything, you're probably going to go to college because you want to get the education from professors and people who have done it before. And just the nature of these jobs is you need a certification. And a lot of these tests require you to take a certain number of credit hours, a certain number of classes where people teach you how to do the things you're trying to become. This is just the reality. If you want to be a lawyer, a doctor, an accountant, you're going to have to go to school at some point probably to learn how to do this stuff. So whether it's at a four-year school or whether you start out as an associate, you make money and you can afford to take classes to eventually take, like in my case, the CPA exam, you can do that. You're just going to have to go to school at some point. So it almost just makes more sense for you to do it now when you're young, go to college, and then continue on with your career and climb towards that professional career that you desire. Second question, how will you pay for it? This is an important question because honestly, you have to think about this on an individual basis. If your family makes millions of dollars, if you have a really wealthy family, going to college just quite honestly is not going to be that much of a financial burden for you compared to others. However, if you don't have the money to go to college, you're going to have to work extra hours, you're going to have to do a lot of things to be able to afford it, then maybe all of these things, the cost to benefit, is not worth it for you. And that's completely fine because you don't need college to be successful. You don't need college to be able to make money to support yourself. But if you can afford to go to college where, again, you can spend four years eating, sleeping, training, getting strong, working on your body, getting really smart, Right? That sounds like a great option. It's a great opportunity if you can afford it and you want it. So that's the second question. And then the third thing and the last one, which is most important, is are you willing to make it worth it? So I'm sure all of you nowadays have seen there's a lot of up and down about, okay, is college actually worth it? No, it sucks because you don't actually learn anything that's going to benefit you in the working world. Or yes, it's, this is great because you need it to succeed. You need it to get a high-level job that's going to pay you six figures a year? I think the answer is somewhere in between, right? Ultimately, college is going to be whatever you make of it. There's kids who go to Harvard who don't end up doing great things. There's kids who go here, where I go, Gustavus, who end up being multimillionaires. My baseball coach, he started a capital investment firm, and now I don't even know how much money he has, but enough to build a new baseball field, to do all these crazy things. That's all just to say that your circumstance and whatever school you go to isn't what is most important about all of this, right? The skills that you acquire, the things you learn, and most importantly, the networking that you do is a direct result of your effort when you get to school and the things that you decide to do. Now, this is what leads into this last piece here. What I want you to understand is let's say that this is John. John goes to Harvard. John then goes to Deloitte. Deloitte is an accounting firm that a lot of high-level accounting students uh, just people in accounting in general look to uh, to work for because they pay you really well. It's the biggest accounting firm in the country, in the world, actually. So let's say he goes there. Now, Mark becomes a manager in like 10 years. So now he's looking for new associates, new interns. Where's Mark going to look? He's going to look back at Harvard. He's going to look back at the Ivy League schools that perhaps he came from, and he's going to recruit them. Now, at the same time, I've witnessed this at Gustavus. There's constantly job fairs and companies with Gustavus grads who come back here and are looking for employees. They're looking for interns. Because again, it's a human, a human behavior thing. If you know that you get good results from a certain place, you're gonna keep going back there and getting product from there until it's not good anymore. So you gotta understand this, that like this is the benefit of going to a place like Harvard, right? The more prestigious a school is, the better connected their network is. Networking, networking. So I hope this video helped you guys kind of dissect what the benefits and downsides of college are. And so you can start asking yourself these questions that are ultimately going to help you decide, should you go to college or not? Is it worth it for you? Does it make sense? If you agree with this stuff or you have any different experiences you want to share, comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.